Hey guys, we don't have to do this. Calm down. Hey guys, welcome to ProTech. I'm Steven. This week, our students in the training academy will be going over a drill that involves getting off the X and addressing multiple adversaries and drawing from concealment. And uh, the drill will be at the fire command. The student will yell, stop, get off the X, draw and shoot each adversary two times, center of mass, preferably in the upper thoracic area, and then once in the head. And I've been uh, practicing and tweaking this drill a little bit today with my uh, Ruger Mark IV uh, light. Uh, I, a lot of times I'll do drills with 22 long rifle because it's cheap. It's cheap and I can get the, get the movements, get the major muscle memory where it needs to be, and then I can move up to my shield or my P365 or my Glock 17 or 19 and try it with, with a, a normal centerfire pistol. So anyways, the drill will look like this. And the par time, again, if I haven't already said this, the par time for this drill is four seconds. Now, I don't, I don't necessarily, or we, we don't necessarily expect all the students to hit the par time right at the beginning of the drill. You know, they may be in the five, six, seven second region, but eventually, with enough time and practice, they will hit the par time. It's going to look like this. Take two. It's going to look like this. I'll, I'll step this way. I was going to step that way, but maybe they were upset about that, so I'm going to step this way. <clears throat> hey, come on, guys. We don't have to do this. Just calm down. Stop! Okay? Don't forget to, uh, if you're shooting a gun with a safety on it, don't forget to disengage the safety. I don't carry a gun with a safety on it, and that's why. Because when you draw your gun and you need it most and you go to pull the trigger, freaking safety is going to be on. Now, if I was doing this drill uh, not in front of a camera, I would have worked through it. I would have continued to move, disengaged my safety, and, and began engaging the targets. So, let's do another take here. Hope you've enjoyed the show so far. Hey, guys, come on. We don't have to do this. Stop! All right, so that's the drill. Now that I finally was able to complete it in 3.8 seconds, and this I'm using I'm not using a holster that is made for this gun, so my draw is a little bit slower than it normally is. Normally I'm around a second from a 4:35 o'clock carry position, and this draw was 1.65 seconds. So half of the time, half of my time was consumed drawing my gun and getting it onto the first threat. And then the other half was consumed with the nine shots. So let's see how I did. Okay. So one, two in the center mass and the headshot right there. Maybe if it'll focus. There you go. Right there. And then one, two and headshot right there and one work with me yep there we go two and headshot right there okay and ideally ideally on the on the headshots and I know this is this is a a, a serious topic you know, because we're we're training, we're training in this training academy. We're training to be able to better protect ourselves and our loved ones, and that involves the possibility of having to stop uh, an evil person from hurting you. You know, or a person with with evil intentions from hurting you. And if you do have to take a headshot, like in a hostage situation or in a really close quarters environment like this, where a headshot is is pretty easy. It's just strictly point shooting at, at this distance. You want to try to aim for the nose because that's in line with the central nervous system uh, of the body and it will shut the body down. Because two shots in the upper thoracic portion of the body uh, isn't going to immediately incapacitate most humans, most people. Uh, they're going to they're gonna still survive for, for several seconds, if not minutes, if not indefinitely. They may, they may receive medical attention 
uh, if it you know if it missed uh, missed um, uh, more than two chambers of the heart, or it only got you know one lung, or or what have you, and uh, they may survive it. Uh, but the the purpose of of this training is to better teach how to protect yourself and defend yourself effectively uh, with tools, with a firearm, with an edged weapon, preferably with a distance tool like a firearm. Um, and uh, we base a lot of our training off of, uh, of reality as much as we can. We try to incorporate movement into our training. We try to incorporate, uh, you know, uh, smooth transitions, uh, fast follow-up shots, um, you know, continuing to work through uh, any issues you may be having, uh, a malfunction or leaving your safety on um, or fumbling on the draw. Um, or if you get hurt, continuing to work through that because uh, you, don't, you don't ever want to stop uh, until either the threat is stopped or you happen to be stopped. And uh, we prefer that it be the threat and that everybody, all the, good, the, good, the people with good intentions, get to go home at night to their families. So God bless you guys. Stay safe out there, and we'll see you next time.